Right, it's Jim Everett here with Greg Hartle for section three of our interview where Greg is going to share with us an exciting new project that he has starting 2011 with. It's called $10 and a Laptop. And so Greg just would love to have you jump in anywhere you want to just to, to share what you're up to. Great, thanks. Yeah, $10 and a Laptop is an idea that I've come up with. I originally came up with this idea back in October um, 2010. And it's evolved tremendously over the last couple of months as I've thought about the idea, talked to people about the idea, and, and prepared myself for the launch of the idea. But basically, you know, if we look, we're, we're now coming into 2011. The first decade of the 21st century is over. It's almost uh, astonishing to think that. But we're already, I mean, it wasn't that long ago that we were all concerned about Y2K, right? So the first decade of the 21st century is over, and it's an opportunity for us to look back and say, how did that decade really go? You know, how did that decade, how did America do in that decade? And, you know, and I think a lot of people would look at that decade and, and would say that we've experienced a tremendous amount of challenges, you know, especially right now. And in particular, beginning in 2007 and 2008, we saw the results of certain behaviors because, you know, results are just your past thoughts, feelings, and actions. So our past thoughts, feelings, and actions led us up to what happened in 2007, 2008, where we really experienced an epic disruption. And in my opinion, will probably go down as, as much more significant than the Great Depression, although most aren't saying that right now. So coming out of that, looking at it and saying, where are we at and where do we want to go? And really, you know, I was sitting in my uh, living room at home thinking to myself, a lot of people contact me, a lot of business owners contact me about the struggles that they're going through, the challenges that they're having. A lot of people contact me about the financial troubles that they're having, even people that don't own businesses. And I noticed, I noticed something. I noticed that there was a significant shift taking place. People were really stopping and saying, what do I really value? What does my life really mean? What do I want to do really? And the idea of, of following some sort of pre-planned system wasn't working for them anymore. And, and at the very same time, I had a friend uh, come up to Portland. I was in Portland at the time. And, and he is a strong homeless advocate. And he's been helping the homeless get back on their feet. And he took me around uh, downtown Portland to let me experience what the homeless experience was like and really got allowed me to understand how does somebody become homeless? Why are they homeless? What do they do when they're homeless? What do they appreciate? What do they not appreciate? And it really gave me a, a different perspective um, on that entire world and how it, and how it really operates. One in which I knew a little about, but really, quite frankly, not a whole lot about. And, and I thought to myself, wow, what would I do? If this was me today, what would I do? If I had a struggling business, what would I do? If I didn't have a business, what would I do? If I was thrown on the streets tomorrow, what would I do? So that question came up a bunch for me back in October, and I decided to challenge myself and put myself in a position where I can really see what would I do. And, and I thought to myself, well, there's two things that I really want to, uh, two things that people really want to see from me. Greg, how do you do what you do? How did you get where you are? what happened. And I thought to myself, well, why not show people from day one what it really takes? Because I'm a big believer that if you have ideas in your head and you have the willingness to do whatever it takes, you'll figure it out. But you truly have to have the willingness to do whatever it takes. And that's not easy for people. And there's moments where you don't want to, you think you want to just give up and, and you're done. And so I thought to myself, here's what I'll do. What if I start a business from just $10 and my laptop, but not just a business, because I think that for the most part, you can do that in today's world. You can start a business with very little, and, and I'll show that through this project, $10 and a laptop. So I thought, not just a business, what if I started my life with just $10 and a laptop? Jim, if I just handed you $10 and a laptop, and I sent you off into the streets, and I said, okay, go, <laughs> what would you do? And that's kind of what this experiment is about. And so January 5th, 2011 is when I'll start, and basically, I'll, at midnight, I will walk out of my friend's door, who I'm staying with right now for the holidays, with a $10 bill, with my laptop, and a few other essentials, and I'll see what happens. I'll figure out where I'm going to stay. I'll figure out what I'm going to eat. I'll figure out how I'm going to create an income stream. I'll figure out what I'm going to do. 
Um, and, and it's an opportunity for re- me to really challenge myself and see what I would really do. So I've donated nearly everything I own. Um, I had to coordinate the donation of, of all my stuff in three different states. I had stuff in San Diego, Portland, and in Phoenix. And so over the last couple of months, I've donated everything I own. And, and virtually have, I have one suitcase with, with a few bare essentials in it. And I have my laptop and I have a $10 bill. And I'm going to go out and I'm going to prove to myself that even in those circumstances, I can figure it out if I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And so I thought to myself, well, how am I going to create an income stream? Well, one of the, the easiest ways to create an income, income stream for yourself is to figure out where your advantages are. Where do you have advantages? And obviously, one of the places that I have advantages is, is a strong background in building businesses and starting businesses and owning businesses and buying businesses. So I thought, well, my business strategy will be simply going to small business owners and asking them, how can I help? How can I help you? And giving them the opportunity to pick my brain, you know, borrow my brain for a few hours. And, and in exchange, ask them to pay whatever they think that was worth or whatever they can afford. And, and start there. But this is going to be, you know, we talked about in our very first segment, the act, analyze, adjust. Well, this is going to be a big test of act, analyze, adjust, you know. And so I'll get to, you know, eat my own cooking, if you will, <laughs> test out my own theories. And, and, but it's bigger than that because what I really want to do is travel to all 50 states. So my objective is to get to all 50 states. I'm going to start with $10 in my laptop and I'm going to show and document my experience online where you can see my progression throughout this whole thing, where I build an income stream, where I build a life for myself, where I go from one bag of stuff to whatever else that I want. You know, at the end of this, I should have a house and I may have a car and I should have a built a life by the end of this project of going to all 50 states. But it's going to start with simply just $10 and a laptop as I do it. And I'm going to help as many business owners as I can. I'm going to understand three areas. Our economy is really made up of three, three areas, business and in particular small businesses. The second one is education. And the third one is government. I mean, that's how our economy is built. So it's my intention to go to every state and understand how small business works in that state and how I can help, understand how the education system works and what we might need to transform in the education system. And the third one is to understand the local governments and how they're supporting small businesses and how small businesses can, can utilize their local governments um, to improve, improve upon their current situation. And really, it, it's kind of up in the air. I really don't know where this will go or what will make, what will come of this, but I feel like I have enough information, knowledge, and understanding to help as many people as I can help. And at the same time, prove and teach to myself that if I legitimately didn't have anything, I could find a way. I could figure out a way. And then I'm just going to document that whole thing online so you get to see every decision I make, all, all, the, all the good things I do, all the screw-ups I make, all the, you know, the stressful days, the days where I'm elated, the whole thing you get to see online from day one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it just ever since you and I had a, a couple of private conversations talking about it. Like, I, yeah, I, I'm excited about just seeing the progress, seeing what you learn, learning vicariously through your experiences. And um, there's going to be a lot of value for you personally, but for the rest of us as well. Well, that's my hope. You know, that's my big hope. You know, sitting in my own living room and and having so many people call me and ask me for advice and other things, it it really helped me realize that that it's not this isn't just an opportunity. I really take and look at this as a responsibility. You know, we all have responsibility to to help when we can help and to build up this economy and get our country on the track that we want it to be on. And I take that responsibility very seriously. So I want to utilize me. I might be the guinea pig, and there's going to be obviously a lot of fun involved in this experiment. But it's also my responsibility to help any ways that I can. And so if I can help on a grander scale rather than one-on-one with just you know talking to someone over the phone, if I can also document my entire experience online, well, that opens it up to, you know, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people who might be able to learn something from that and apply it to their life, their business, whatever it might be, 
to to improve upon their situation. And I you know I, I look at that as a, a significant responsibility, and it's and it's my duty to deliver that value in any way, shape, or form that I can for people. Well, that, all I can say is that for me, it's definitely a, an honor to, to have met you, to, to be able to have this conversation with you and to, to be able to have made friends with you and to be able to share this process that, that you go through. And I'm going to be looking for ways that I can jump in and, and help support and then just also looking for what value I can get for myself personally mm-hmm. and to be able to share with clients and just other people that that happen to come across my path yeah that's great jim and, and you know i you know i owe you a big thanks because you've you've allowed me to pick your brain twice now on this idea and really get more clear about it you know when you come up with an idea it sounds great but then you've got to get clear about how you're going to actually execute that idea and uh, I've been fortunate enough to meet you and have the opportunity to, to have you ask me certain key questions that I've had to really get clear about and answer so that I can launch this whole project. So I do appreciate that very much. Okay, well, thanks. I'm, I'm honored to just to have a, a small part in it so far. And um, I'm definitely going to be one of the people cheering you on and pointing to as many people as possible to your information. I'm super excited about it. Super excited. Okay. okay, well... Um, you have any parting comments here as we wrap this up? Yeah, you know, the only thing that I would uh, leave with is just remember in, in all of this, in all of this, the end objective is to simply be happy, <laughs> right? Uh-huh. You know, it's to be healthy and to be happy. So I always remind people, just don't lose sight of that. Just, you know, you can apply anything you want. You can start any business you want. You can do whatever you want. But in the end, just, just remember it's about being healthy and being happy. And I'll leave you with that. Fantastic, Greg. Well, um, we'll all be watching, and uh, if there's anything I can do to support, as you know, please feel free to contact me. Excellent, Jim. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Okay. Happy New Year. You too. All right. Bye. Bye.